Welcome to another Hydro webinar. Today we're going to be talking about how to set up your uh, flat foot shift maps for your Hydra EMS 2.7. Let's get started. The first picture I'm going to show you here, this is the uh, comparison between flat shifting and non-flat shifting. Non-flat shifting or flat foot shifting is because you take the foot off between shifting. The red is the engine RPMs, the yellow is the throttle, and the green is the engine load. Here's my shift point. I get to the top of my uh, RPM, which for me is 7,000, get off the gas, come all the way down, shift, get back on the gas. I come off the gas as abruptly as I can, I shift as fast as I can, I'm doing everything I can to make it quick. The quickest I can shift is about a half a second or you know five and a half tenths. Uh, I do not have a short shift kit in my car. Uh, it may be a little bit quicker for those people. Uh, also you'll notice the engine load drops all the way down to max vacuum and has to come all the way back up again uh, to full boost uh, even after I'm on the gas. Uh, over here you'll see flat foot shifting comes all the way up 100% the whole time. Engine load you'll notice a tiny little dip instead of a large dip as to the left. goes right back up to full boost uh, and you'll see here uh, it shifted, uh, shifted through the gears. So it's uh, very exciting. Uh, it can be a little bit more aggressive in the lower gears and a little bit smoother in the higher gears. Um, very scary the first time to do it. Once you get used to it you'll see. I recommend doing some data logging. Sometimes you'll find that you're still lifting. Um, I know I've had a couple where I've breathed to about 98% thinking I was down all the way, but uh, it's a hard it's a hard habit uh, to break. Uh, so you'll want to practice it a few times if you do use it for competition. Uh, right, let's take a look at the uh, setup here. This is for a Mazda Speed Miata. Uh, already we're using the auxiliary 4 for the uh, clutch switch for launch request low, so if you already have your launch control working, it's DC 11 I took my next available low, I'm using most of the other ones here, this is on a low request, basically just it's a grounding. So when the Hydra sees, oh this this is grounded, then it will activate whatever that uh, function is. So I took BBO3 and Auxiliary 1 and uh, teed it into to the line with Auxiliary 4 which is BC11. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and take your Hydra software and change your inputs. So settings, input request types, these are all your input request types. In my case, I've got my data logging on my switch, the anti-lag for my second uh, rev limit that I use for autocross, and this is the launch request low. That's the one that we teed into with auxiliary port 1. We're going to make that flat shift low request. So when my clutch is in, my launch control maps are going to be enabled, and my flat shift maps are going to be enabled. The reason why I use both, instead of just changing my launch uh, maps, was that I use uh, different settings for my launch control than I do for my flat shift control. And um, I've, I've made those settings so that way it's, it's uh, you know, I can keep them separate and adjust them separately. So once you've done that, hit apply and OK. Uh, right now if you push in your clutch, uh, my, my Computer's not connected to my car, but the LC will turn black, as will the FS will turn black. So they're both going to turn on at the same time. Um, let me show you my launch control maps first. This is the launch control fuel cut cycles. My launch control I've set up to start at about uh, 3250. Uh, I end the map at uh, 4250. Occasionally, if I've got some really hot exhaust, it'll come up to 3500 and then come back down to 3250. Uh, but basically it stays right around here. So everything else above that is zeroed out. Um, the launch control takes, uh, is going to be ineffective at those RPMs. Obviously it's going to be flat foot shifting. It's going to be at 7,000. So this is the area where the flat foot shift maps are going to take over. Let me show you one of those. Launch control, one just below it is flat shift fuel cut. Again, all zeros all the way up to 4750. Um, the keep my cut all the way to red line. I, I have a catalytic converter, so I don't use just ignition cut. 
If you don't have a cat, you can try this ignition cut. Um, you may need a combination as well. I found these settings uh, work for me to redu reduce the torque enough. Um, if you want to reduce the torque more and make the shifting a little bit easier, a little quicker, then you need more cut. If uh, you're finding the, you know, the boost is dropping more, if you have a higher, uh, higher uh, pressure you're you're targeting, then you can use uh, less fuel cut. Uh, this worked good. I have got uh, the stock turbo on the Mazda Speed, so I've got 30% uh, to roll into it and then 90% uh, all the way to redline, and that'll be active while the clutch is in. For ignition trimming, uh, again, this is my launch. This is my flat shift ignition map. Again, starts at 4750, 30, 5000, it goes to 60, 60% 60 ignition cut. Um, I may increase that a little bit more. If you find it, it's a little bit difficult to get in the gear, you can reduce more torque from the engine. That's basically what you're doing uh, while keeping the engine floored. It's uh, pretty interesting. I definitely recommend trying to do uh, the first time you do it after you've put on the maps to do the shift uh, three to four. It's a good place you can just get on the freeway and uh, be in third gear, take it to red line, hold down the gas, push in the clutch, shift to fourth, and come off the clutch. Uh, it's a good place to first try it. It should be pretty smooth. Uh, it's probably smoother than your shift uh, that you can do from Redline. Um, very quick, uh, very very cool. So once you're once you're comfortable with doing that, you've done that a few times. You can trust the system and have faith that it's going to work appropriately. Um, and uh, you know, gear that you know the cut. Uh, you can do it from a launch, or you can roll into first gear. One to two is a much more aggressive shift. Um, if you have a lot of high horsepower, uh, excuse me, if you have a lot of horsepower and all season tires, you, you may watch the tires shifting it. Uh, you will definitely chirp the tires. It will definitely be aggressive, um, uh, more aggressive uh, than, than coming off the gas, certainly. Two to three is about the same, and like I said, three to four and four to five, all, all the rest are going to be uh, as smooth or smoother. Really interesting stuff, a lot of fun. And uh, I, uh, I encourage you to try it. Um, it's pretty neat. You don't have to use the launch control. Um, if, you, uh, if you're if you not using the launch control, you can uh, change that to turn on your flat shifts. Uh, if you have a monster speed, it's the same thing. So if you're not two-stepping, uh, you can use that for the flat shift as well. Uh, like I said, saves about a half a second. Uh, a lot of fun. I hope you all try it. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to uh, post a message. Thank you.